Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. I got a massive unboxing for you today. Multiple packages here. Got the new six sack in, and I feel like there's one other package sitting around here somewhere that I'll have to find. But we're gonna unbox all of it right here on camera. But first, did you know that most of you guys watching this video right now probably aren't even subscribed to the channel, which is absolutely offensive, bro. So hit that subscribe button. Help us color in these last few bars here on the subscriber board. Show YouTube that the online fishing scene is still on and popping. Help us get that silver play button and hang it up back here on the tackle wall. Thank you guys so much for riding with me. Let's jump right off into this unboxing. Let's start with this month's six sack. February, 2024. Six sack from Six Sense Fishing. JR Six Sack for $10 off your first sack. If you like what you see in here and you want to sign up for what is, in my opinion, the best monthly bait subscription service on the market, heaters only, delivered to your doorstep on a monthly basis from none other than Six Sense. All Six Sense premium hard baits, soft baits, terminal tackle exclusively all from the six not a bunch of random mumbo jumbo that you never heard about that's overstock from kmart okay so let's go ahead and crack off into this month's sack and see what they have in store for us for february a divine spinnerbait half ounce chartreuse flash divine spinnerbait awesome i really like that color i like it that it comes with dual willow leaf blades and two different sizes one of them is gold and one of them is silver i really like having gold blades on my spinner baits especially when you have like a bone colored head like that that is a sick looking spinner bait i'm gonna leave it in the package but you guys can get a good look at that right there it's a good way to kick off this month's sack with the divine spinner bait half ounce perfect man they're chasing bait fish it's about to be on it's about to be spinner bait time let's see what else we got all right Cosmic Black Divine Shaky Worms. It's been a while since I've seen some shaky worms in the sack. So that's a cool little change of pace right there. The Divine Shaky Worm. I've sort of been throwing the uh, the Busa Shaky Worm a lot lately. And I've got a video coming where I actually smashed them out there on the Busa. But you can never have too many soft plastic worms in your arsenal. And that Cosmic Black right there is gonna help you stand out in that murky water. It's like black with purple, red, and gold flake. Nice color for murky water. All right, let's keep it rolling. What else do we have in this month's sack? A hard bait crush mini 25 MD. I'm gonna try to, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna try to keep this rolling a little quick. So this is a small profile medium diver. This is thread fin shad. I can tell just by looking at the color. Small profile medium diver that you don't need a big cranking setup to throw. So this is a good way to, to get into the, the mid depth cranking game and yeah, we've got a little bait fish theme going on so far with the spinner bait and a small profile crank. That 25 MD is a killer out here on my lake. Uh, they, they're always chasing the small cranks and they do really well. So I like that. And man, that paint job on that crank bait. Let's just take one more moment to appreciate that detail on that thread fin. Beautiful. All right, let's keep it rolling. What else in this month's sack? I'm peeking a little bit. There's a little bit of terminal tackle in here to pair up with our Devon spinner bait. We got the six cents spinnerbait trailer hooks so if you guys never run a trailer hook on the back of your spinnerbait a lot of times they're swiping at the bait they're hitting the blades and they will miss the main hook the primary so if that's happening to you it's a good idea to try running a secondary let me have my spinnerbait we're gonna, we're gonna throw one on here really quick man just for you know this is like i try to have a little educational energy here on the channel. I know most of you guys probably already know this, but there are some beginner anglers out there that may not. I, at one time, did not know about the trailer hook for the spinnerbait, so let's break it down. You know, you got this, this plastic piece here that's gonna cover the eye of the hook. And what you wanna do is just take your main hook, your primary, run it straight through that plastic in the middle of the eye, snap it over your barb, and there you go. Now you've got a secondary help you uh, increase that hookup ratio. If they're just swiping at these blades, a lot of times that back hook will get them. Typically do not run a trailer hook on my spinner baits unless I'm missing a lot of fish, but that's a cool little piece of terminal tackle. Let's keep it rolling. What else do we got? 
a movement 80 x guys check this one out i like this color copper green shad but it reminds me of a little baby bass or a guadalupe bass which i have a lot of on my lake see it has the red eye see-through ghost body this is a, a little bit different take on a crankbait right here and give you some different action wide wobble this thing's gonna dive down to about three feet a little bit longer profile on there that's an excellent springtime crank right there banging around up in the shallows nice baby bass copper green shad is the name but it looks like a baby bass to me or a little guadalupe bass which my lake is loaded with and those bass they're crazy they're cannibals so they will eat that let's keep it rolling all right this is one of my baits that i've really started building some serious confidence in here lately and that is the hard jerk bait this is a provoke 106 dd deep diver it's got the bigger lip on there and this is my favorite color the ghost bone minnow killer i've got uh you know multiple videos out lately of me smashing them on the jerk bait with more coming man that that new 97 that smaller one whoo that's a heater but that 106 this is the one right here that i caught one of my biggest fish ever out on OHIV. That exact one right there. Super heater. I've been doing a little, uh, little playing around with the finish, a little customization on my on my paints. I may talk to you guys more about that in a future video. Stick around if you're interested in seeing that. If you want to see what I do, some of my baits. Hang on, I'll grab them. Look at this one right here. Sort of stand out from the crowd. It's just something I've been tinkering with, but you can see that's the same color I just showed you. This right here started out as this, and it's just a little, you know, some subtle changes, and they've been loving it. So you guys stick around, hang out, if you're interested in seeing me talk about some of the simple things that I've been doing. I'm not a bait maker, I'm not a bait painter. The modifications that I make are Neanderthalish at best. Um, anybody can do what I'm doing to these baits to make them look just a little bit different. That being said, Six cents, some of the most incredible paint schemes in the game. These things are ready to go straight out of the package. You do not have to modify them. There's one more bait in this month's six set. Let's check it out. The Duke 55. Been throwing this a little bit lately here too. You know, a lipless is a, a good thing to have around in a small profile. Again, we got like a bait fish, a bait fish theme going on in this month's sack. We got a lot of bait fish looking stuff. The spinner bait. The jerk bait, small profile crank bait, and now the shiny lipless. This is like chrome black back. Nice. It's solid chrome with a black back and a red eye. Shiny bait fish, flashy, and that's this month's six sack. You guys check it out, sixcentsfishing.com, JR six sack for $10 off your first sack. This box is so heavy. I can't wait to get off into this one, but I think we're gonna open this one over here because I placed this order a little bit ago and I can't really remember what all is in here. Let's check it out. Shout outs to my boy Cooper Thor over at Six Sense Fishing and my man Zach Kynart who recently had a birthday. Happy belated birthday to my brother from another ZK all day. Coop, you're the man. Thank you for always taking such good care of me. Let's see what he has in store for me this time. Ooh wee some heaters I see. First up, let's buff a couple of these new apparel items out of the box and then we'll take a look at the baits. Here's a couple brain busters. Uh, so the Sixth Sense just dropped a new hoodie. This is the Fish Dock hoodie. It's really similar to the one that has the face mask built in, but this one doesn't have a face mask built in. So it's a little more like fall time, early springtime oriented but still really warm, heavy, nice, soft on the inside. It's warm out here in the garage right now, so I'm not gonna put this on, but Sixth Sense has some incredible apparel <laughs> that I'm not allergic to, I swear, but you guys check out the new hoodie, the Fish Dock hoodie. They got black and they got, what are they calling this color? River Rock, the River Rock, nice. Thank you, Coop, for the hoodies. It's getting warm here in Texas, but we've been having some little random cold snaps here and there, so. I'll put those things to work. If not this season, next fall for sure. But well, we got some more baits in here. Let's check it out. So if you guys watched my last video, you saw me crack a dragon on this bait right here. 
So I told Coop, please send me some more Morning Dawn PD4s. And that's what we have right here. Four Morning Dawn PD4 square wheel crankmates. This is the Pressure Series. Silent, get out of my way. Silent, flat sided, smaller profile, really, really realistic action on this crankbait. Like it looks like a dang bait fish. The Pressure Series action is incredible as well as the hooks. The hooks that come on this bait are so insanely sharp. And that Morning Dawn right there, that PD4, that's been the one for me lately. Just that little rose color, shad, mm, dude. Had to have me some more of these. Only had one from my original order and I was like, who? Just, that's that one, dude. That's that one dog. Send me that one. So got four more of those right here going straight into the boat. That's the going into the boat box right there, by the way. But wait, there's more. Holy sh that did not go. That did not go how I intended it to go. Let's try that again. There we go. Got some new new in here. Some new heat in the juggle minnow. We got two new colors. This one right here, the one I'm really excited about. That bone, 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 bone. Spanish bone juggle minnow. Just a bone shad color. And you guys know I love throwing bone colored baits, no matter what kind of baits they are. And to see them popping off some bone in the soft plastics, man, the action on these juggle minnows, insane. All right, let's let's uh, let's uh, play tackle box here for a second. Typically, I don't like running a big trailer on my spinnerbait, and a lot of times I run no trailer at all. But sometimes it's good to have a trailer. You want to add a little bit of weight, a little bit of bulk, a little bit of secondary action, and the juggle minnow is an excellent way to lace up your divine spinnerbait with just a little bit more, just a little bit extra. Because the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little bit extra. Screw lock bait keeper on the Devon spinner bait. So there you go. Look, look at the profile on that. So you're not gonna have a big wide swinging tail that's gonna interfere with the action of the blades, but you are gonna have just, you know, a little bit more profile, a little bit of secondary action, that juggle minnow, that bone, that Spanish bone juggle minnow tied up with that chartreuse flash. That is a match made in freaking heaven. You got silver blades, gold blades, incredible chartreuse and white skirt with that detailed paint scheme and mold on the head on that spinnerbait. I mean, I feel like tying this on right now and going down and fishing with it. That's how good that looks. The new bone juggle minnow. Throw this on the back of a swim jig, your spinnerbait. Do that hover juggle thing. I've been thinking about tinkering around with that. They got one more new color here in the juggle. This is the Ghost Pro Shad. Look at this, dude. Awesome. Ghost Shad. It reminds me, sort of reminds me of that, honestly. Really similar. But there we go. Two new colors in the juggle minnow. You guys check them out. Sixth Sense continues to expand. Expando Commando. Thank you, Cooper, for the hookup on the PD4s and the Juggle Minnows and the hoodies, man. I appreciate you. Much love. Let's keep it rolling. I swear there was another package around here that I was gonna open in this video. I just gotta find it. Anyways, let's keep it rolling. This one right here, dude, this box is heavy. This box is stacked. I actually curated this one. Uh, I placed an order, guys. I went I went online and I did it. Placed myself in order. Needed some heaters. And without further delay, I'm gonna show them to you right now. Mm. $20 off when you spend $100 or more. Waterland Fishing Optics, use code Team Waterland. There you go. JR15 will give you 15% off on waterlandco.com year round, but there's a little sneak peek at a code that'll give you $20 off. If you guys wanna steal it and use it, have at it. Shout out to Waterland. All right, you guys heard me talk about that, that hover, hang on. I'll be right back to that, hover juggle. We'll be right back to that. 
but the you know the modified jerk bait that i just showed you ghost bone minnow 97 dd there it is two of those right there on top had to have me some more you guys heard me talking about this uh, whole hover juggle thing and i'm not exactly sure even how to do it but i'm gonna figure it out and i'm gonna mess around with that so i got the equipment required to do so six cents has nail weights they got a, a ton they've expanded the terminal tackle line to epic proportions i mean they have everything from little tiny like sunfish like bluegill hooks catfish gear the crappie they got they got so much stuff man six cents has just been setting it off and with that comes you know the nail weights for the cover juggle so i got one sixteenth ounce one thirty second ounce three thirty second ounce tungsten and lead nail weights and I got a bunch of juggle minnows so that I can start trying to hover, dude. Get my hovercraft on, dude. Gosh, yeah. I guess I sort of went wild with the juggles here. I didn't remember ordering 80,000 of them, but I did, apparently. So we'll look at those, but I also got the hooks. The juggle hooks. Juggle shot. one on Juggle shot hooks. Number one, juggle shot hooks. Two aught juggle shot hooks. So I went, you know, tried to get a varietal so that I could make sure I had whatever I needed. Cause like I said, I'm uneducated. I'm an amateur to intermediate bass angler. I don't know all these techniques, but when I find something new, I try to like check it out, learn about it. And you know, the hover juggle has been popping off here lately. So I got a bunch of juggle minnows guys. I'll try to roll through these colors. We got 4K shad. We're gonna run out of time. 4K shad, just another shad, really nice. Got the the smoke gray top, light gray belly, gold, purple, and black, and green. That's a freaking killer color right there. 4K shad, hover jugulus. Got a couple of those. This one right here is called minnow juice. Really similar, but it's just a little more see-through, a little more clear. And it has like a lavender sheen to it. You see me rolling that? You can maybe see that lavender popping just a little bit. I don't know. That right there is another killer shad color. Minnow juice. We got so many 4K shad. How many 4K shads did I order? I don't know, 10? Must have accidentally ordered 10, 10 packs of 4K shad. I'm, I'm, I maybe tried to order one and I got 10. Oh well. Ghost Ice Minnow. This is one of their most famous colors, man. The Ghost Ice Minnow. It's just a clear shad with that purple, lavender, blue flake in there. Ghost Ice Minnow. Super heater. Yeah, I accidentally ordered. When you go and you enter in your quantity, you like type in the number one. I must have put in a number one in front of the zero instead of on top of the zero. And I got ended up with 10. 10 bags of the 4K Shad. That's some more Ghost Pro Shad, but this one right here, this is the one I'm most excited about, Rose Minnow. You know, that pink, dude. That hot pink action. All right. See that tube back there? You gotta see what I'm getting at. Don't click off the video. So there we go. There's our gear for the Hover Jugulus. Also got some Congo Craws. Laced up, been catching them on the Congo craw lately. Really like the versatility of this bait. Bigger profile on the claws, smaller profile on the body, and you can adapt and adjust this by tearing off certain sections to make this bait just do anything you would ever want a creature crawfish style bait to do. So I got the Magic Craw. Let's check this one out. This is like a, a green pumpkin watermelon with a little bit of blue in there. You see that blue? That one right there, that's probably my favorite one. Everyone's my favorite one. Somebody called me out on that in the comments. Like, everyone you look at is your favorite one. I can't help it, dude, I like fishing tackle. This one's my favorite one right here. This is a live crawfish. Check this one out. Green pumpkin, blue and black flake. Let me in. You hear me knocking? Let me in. Green pumpkin, blue and black flake. I mean, that's just, that's a all water clarities, all, any lake in the world, you could throw this color, this bait right here. Any lake in the world. All right, also got the Alabama craw. That's that uh, green pumpkin. 
and orange. Nice. And then straight up green pumpkin, molting crawfish, which is blue on one side, watermelon red on the other. Had to load up on the Congo because like I said, I've been catching them out there on that thing. So I was like, okay, time to expand the lineup, get some more colors in the boat, have some more options because options are where it's at. Also got a bunch of t-shirts. T-shirts! Six Sense has been coming out with some new designs, some new t-shirts. So I got a whole stack of some fresh tees, you know, cause you can never have too many t-shirts. Rocking a smaller size now. You guys may have noticed I've been losing a little weight, I'm trying to get in shape, focusing on my nutrition and fitness. More on that later, I'm gonna do a whole video on my fitness journey and how it changed my life and how it's affected my fishing out there on the water. Stay tuned for that, but you guys know the deal. I feel like there's something else we need to do in this video. Yeah, that's right. I got a tube back here. It's the tube. Hang on, let me take the subscriber board down really quick so we can crack off into the tube. You guys, subscribe to the channel, please. Help us grow this beast. Can't do it without you. Thank you for the support. Let's crack off into the tube. Got a new rod right here for us. We're gonna check it out right now. Where's my thing? I need my thing. This is the problem. When I do a massive unboxing, now I start losing my things. All right, here we go. Got the Berg Blades Bottle Butcher on deck. I'm gonna slice off into the tube. I'm gonna get this rod out of here. We're gonna talk about it. All right, here it is, guys. This is another new release from Six Cents in the rod category. I'm excited about this one. At first glance, it looks pretty awesome. This is that broomstick. You guys may have seen them promoting this on their social medias. So I had to get one to try. This is gonna be like a a bigger bait type setup, you know? Throwing swim baits, we like to do that, don't we? You guys like to throw swim baits? Let me know down in the comments if you prefer conventional, uh, let me have it. Conventional style bass fishing, you know, with the sort of baits that we've been looking at so far in this video. Or if you prefer to throw the, the big baits. I do it all, I love everything. Anytime I get to set the hook on a fish, I'm enjoying myself, but there's something really fun about throwing the big baits. Oh yeah, I love the way the handle feels on this rod already. I like the line guides. It's got the bigger line guides so you can use a braid to leader if that's your thing. This is the broomstick, 710 extra heavy, one to four ounce. That's like a swim bait rod. But you could, if you're throwing an ounce, if it's rated for an ounce, I mean, you could do a lot with this, I'm assuming. 710. Full grip handle. You guys check it out. The broomstick. That black and gold looks so good. Sort of makes me upset that we didn't use black and gold on the heater series, if I'm being honest with you, because that is crispy clean. It's got the uh, the different line guides on here. They're a little bit more open. Full grip. Got your bait keeper right here. Black and gold. That's that broomstick. And I cannot wait to put this thing to use. I will be doing that very soon. I'm going to get it mount it up. I'll probably put a Corrado 200 on here. A 200K with 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon and that's how I'll roll. That's what I like to throw the bigger baits on. I've got a Corrado 300 and the only thing I use that for is like the big, big glides like the draw or a Hinkle Shad or something like that. This right here, I'm really looking forward to this. The broomstick, you guys check it out. SixCentsFishing.com if you're interested in any of this stuff that I've just shown you. JR10 for 10% off your entire order using the JR10 code is the number one way that you guys can support the channel. Shout out to the JR10 Army, you guys are incredible. I could not do this without you. Secure the heaters, save the bread, support the movement at the same time. You are the fuel to the fire and you are the reason that I am able to continue bringing free fishing content to everybody here on YouTube. And I can never thank you enough for supporting me like you do. Your support is relentless. It's borderline overwhelming. In fact, I wanna give a special shout out right now to Mr. Allen, who recently placed a $2,300 order using that JR10. That is one of, if not the biggest JR10 order that I've ever seen. You guys send me your screenshots on Facebook or Instagram through the Facebook page or my Instagram account so that I can give you 
a shout out on my story. I always like to give you guys some public recognition when you use the code, even if you just use it for a $8 order. JR10 for the win. Thank you guys so much for riding with me. Thank you to Sixth Sense for hooking it up and for continuously bringing the heat for all of us to enjoy. Get out there and catch some big bass. I'll have some more on the water fishing content coming your way really soon. Smashing them on the Congo craw, the boost of shaky worm, and that little modified jerk bait that I just showed you, as well as a bunch of other really fun stuff. You know it's bed fishing season. The spawn is on and the Tower of Power Pete and Heat Reunion Tour 2024 is going to be coming back live and direct and full effect right here on this channel. So stick around, subscribe if you want to see it. Last but not least, thank you so much to these people that you see on the screen right here, the Almighty Heater Army for supporting the channel, going above and beyond on a monthly basis, helping us continue to do this. You guys are incredible. If you want to have your name immortalized here at the end of a video and get access to other special perks that we have lined up for you, click that top link down below in the video description. Much love to the Heater Army and to anybody watching right now. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I will see you on the next one. We did it. We did it. We fucking did it, dude. That's, that's a fucking video right there, dude.